Hello guys, in this section we will learn about how to make a program with if statement using flowgorithm. So let's check this out. First we can open the flowgorithm application. And before we make a program, we must declare some variable that will be used in the program that we made. So let's declare some variable and the step is click this one. And then choose declare, double click on there and fill the blank with the name of variable and the variable name is buying price and choose the type of number and we will choose real number get like this and in the same way we can declare another variable variable name is selling price with the type of number is real number Another declare variable name is remain with the type of number is real number. So we get like this. The next step is click this one and we add output and fill the blank with some comment like how much is the buying price. We can write like this. And then click OK and add an input and fill the blank with buying price like this. In the same way, we can do this step for selling price. So let's add an output. If comment, how much is the selling price? Add an input and fill the blank with selling price like this. The next step is we add an assign and fill the blank of the variable with remain and fill the blank of expression is formula of the remain that is selling price. Minus buying price like this. The next step we use if under control and we will give a condition expression with remain that is the remain is greater than or equal to zero like this. And for the left set and the right set, we will add new declare and the variable name is loss with the type of number is real variable name is profit with the type of number is real number then we add a sign for the left set variable is loss with the expression is formula of the loss that is buying price minus selling price for the right side variable is profit the expression is formula of the profit that is Selling price minus buying price. That is. Then we add an output and give some comment. For example, the loss is at end loss. Like this, can I like this? We do for the right side. The profit is and profit like this. The next step is we add a new declare and 
and fill the blank. Variable name is percentage of loss. With the type of number is real number. For the right side, variable name is percentage of profit. With the type of number is real number. Put it like this. Then we add signs for the last set is percentage of loss and the expression is formula of the percentage of loss that is loss divided by buying price times z times one hundred. Like this for the right side the variable is percentage of profit with the expression is the formula of the percentage of the profit that is profit divided by buying price times 100 like this and the last we add an output and give some command. For example, so Can write like this. So the percentage of loss is and percentage of loss and like this. For the right side, we do some way. So the percentage of the profit is and percentage of profit. And you can write like this. So this is the program. Let's check. So let's run the program. How much is the buying price? That it is ten. How much is the selling price? That is twelve. So we get the profit is two, and the percentage of the profit is twenty percent. Let's run for another. How much is the buying price? That it is twelve. How much is the selling price? That it is ten. So we get the loss is 2 and the percentage of the loss is like this. Let's run for another number. How much is the, pri it's the buying price? But it is 10 and the selling price also 10. So we get the profit is 0 and the percentage of the profit is also 0. So this is the program. Don't forget to save. Thanks for your attention.